powerful ones is we are the only species that drinks milk after weaning. The livestock sector is, is, is massively using our world's resources. It takes, um, I just whiz through the figures on that, it takes 100 times as much water to produce one kilogram of beef as it does one kilogram of vegetables. It takes 120 calories of energy to produce one calorie of beef protein, as opposed to two calories of fuel energy to produce a single calorie of plant protein. 21 square meters of land to produce one kilogram of beef. Um, yeah, I can go on. And it's just a really inefficient use of the planet's resources in terms of land, in terms of fossil fuel energy, in terms of water. And it's the, you know, the Raj Patel, who's the author of this book called Stuff and Starve, which is really good, he said the amount of grain spent to US livestock would be enough to feed 840 million people on a plant-based diet. And the number of food insecure people in the world is about 850 million. So again, yeah, we, we need to put this on the agenda. Because as I said, I've got 400 animals, they take all the money, so I'm very, very basic, just like me. break a world record for the animals and that world record is to be the fastest woman to go to each continent and complete a marathon as well as the polar ice cap which is supposed to be the worst one so I've got that one out of the way I won that one in April and I broke the record for the fastest woman ever to run a marathon at the uh, North Pole basically. The purpose of life is not to accumulate material possessions and collect money that you can't take with you when you die, but it is to work towards relieving and eradicating suffering for all animals. The best first step towards this is to live a vegan lifestyle. I've been running ultra marathons for almost 20 years now. Um, I've run the Western States on hire, and I've run that race and won it seven times in a row. It's a race that takes place in Squaw Valley, California, over the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges, down into the American River canyons. Temperatures can reach over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you notice, I didn't talk a lot about plant-based um, sports nutrition. The reason for that is you never are really eating a steak while you're running or doing aerobic exercise. We have any steak eaters that like to chow down on a steak while they're running or cycling or doing a chow down. Come on, nobody. Yes, I did a world record um, uh, last year in September. Like uh, it was just, I think, a week ago uh, before I uh, went to the VegFest, uh, and I did that in Toronto. And uh, it was um, a 10 meter walk of 555 kilos uh, on my back, um, and that's pretty uh, impressive. And it was uh, also good to have a world record because now it's in the Guinness uh, world, uh, Book of World Records and everything. So uh, the media um, um, reacted well to that. But um, to get the attention of, uh, of media, I don't need to set world records all the time. So if I just go on a public space and just lift around like 500 kilos, that's more than like, I don't know, three times uh, what, what a normal person does. So that's pretty much enough to create some attention and get them to write something and get them to give me the chance to, to, have, to have a meeting, uh, to, to get the message out.